Let's turn to weather. Jason, you're a dog dad. I, I think that kind of qualifies as Father's Day. Any plans for Sunday? Uh, no, unfortunately, uh, you know, in my household, uh, we are kidless. Uh, we do have a half dog, or I should say a half a kid, which is our dog, Lenny. But yeah, no, um, <laughs> Romney just is just telling me I need to work and just make sure it's a nice day. What about you, Jack? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I will have one of my two children here. Um, will enjoy the day, and I'm just looking for a kind of relaxing day on the boat and a little barbecue. All right. Well, happy Father's Day in advance. And for those of you who are heading outside tonight, you are going to absolutely love the weather for tonight. We are going to see partly cloudy skies. It's going to be a relatively overall pretty nice night. But I want to thank one of our viewers, uh, Ian Hill. Uh, he took this wonderful photo over in a Euclid Beach of the Cleveland sign. And he actually used our weather app to do that. So if you have a weather picture that you see that you should I should say that you take as you are out and about either tonight or even tomorrow do us a favor snap a photo of it go to the channel 3 weather app and just click on the second option that you see on the app and it'll literally take you 30 seconds to do you can always also tag me on Facebook Twitter as well as Instagram at Jason Fraser TV and I will try to use it here on the broadcast start right, so let's talk weather right now you know things have been pretty nice over the last couple of days and things are about to start to get slowly more humid in around our area we're gonna see those dew points in the 60s for the foreseeable future. Matter of fact, this weekend is the official start of summer, and it is going to start feeling that way for all of us. So right now, pretty much everybody is either in the upper 70s or low 80s, including Elyria at 81 degrees, 83 over in Ashland, and 82 right now in the Akron area. Now, we are not alone with dealing with all of the heat, as you can see across much of the Midwest right now. We are seeing temperatures in the 80s, but I wanted to show you regionally what's happening because you see where those 90s are in the central part of the United States, like over in Lincoln, Nebraska, and Topeka, Kansas, where it's in the 90s. That air is going to slowly start shifting into our area. Now, for now, satellite and radar, as you can see, things are looking pretty good. We do have some clouds in around the new Philadelphia area, but for the most part, that those rain showers are not making their way to the ground. But as we switch to the satellite and radar, you'll notice that we are seeing some showers that are slowly going to be moving uh, into our area. And this is all associated with the low pressure system that is centered right around the Virginia area. National Design Mod hour by hour forecast. So by 11 o'clock, we'll see temperatures dipping down to the middle 60s. And then overnight, we'll dip down into the upper 50s. I think the majority of us, though, will stick around 60 degrees. And then you'll notice that that southerly wind will shift northward. And that's all after the system moves across much of northeast Ohio. We are going to see some scattered rain showers. It's not going to be a washout of a day, but certainly can't rule out the possibility of seeing just an isolated thunderstorm as well develop. And then as the sun sets, you'll notice that the moisture will certainly move out of our area, and then we'll see partly cloudy skies in the overnight hours. All right, here's a look right now at your Universal Windows Direct seven-day forecast. 81 for tomorrow, 83 for Friday, and then Father's Day. That's going to be the warmest day over the next seven days. That's when we'll see temperatures in the upper 80s, I think some 90s, Jay, for some of us. All right. If I had more than two, I'd give it three thumbs up. I love the forecast. Jay, thanks. We'll see you soon. Great.